Paul, Minnesota, looking at the cathedral, which was built in 1906. But anyway, this is a really high-class neighborhood back in the day. All the mansions of Summit Avenue. Very expensive. And you can see the Capitol off in the distance over there. Here's what I want you guys to see. This is why I come here. This is what this is what's important. I'll try to be steady here. James J. Hill Mansion. So you can probably freeze that and read it. He's a railroad tycoon back in the day. So I, I'm gonna give you a tour of his property back in the day. But she had guard towers, or guard shacks, all the way down there, fenced in. And there you go, there's this, there's the big mansion. James J. Hill Mansion. You might not see it too good, but I'll try to get it. Out the glare, okay, there we go. But, see back in the day, James J. Hill was a railroad tycoon. You know? This is owned by the Historical Society on the Register of Preserved Properties, whatever. You know, you kind of get an idea how big it is. I think it's like 20, 20,000 square feet, I think it is. But yeah, he had uh, none of his Mary Hill Mansion was across the street, or next to him. He built that for a daughter or something. But you kind of see the guard shack right there in the distance. That's, he had armed security back in this uh, era. We got a guy blowing leaves right now. There you go. There's a view of the house. There you go. James Dale him on Chen. We'll do a walk around here real quick. Don't mind the uh, leaf blower guy. Thank you. on the side of it, going to the back of the property. It used to overlook the river. Back in the day when there was no buildings, no downtown, but the skyscrapers. There we go. There's a side view. Big chimney. Back view. Just to get a load of how big this place was. I guess they have tours here this summer. From 12 to 4 p.m. As you can see now, back in the day, he overlooked, this place overlooked the river. You can kind of see over the buildings there, Mississippi River. Let me try to get a better view for you here. I don't fall over the cliff, but. <laughs> there you go, guys. This is a backside facing the river. There you go. See all, look at all, see all the fireplaces? I think he had like five or six of them. Okay, that's it. James J. Hill House. Summit Avenue. Peace out from Mr. Terry's Blues Harp 5-9.